Hey, so this is new to you if you did National 5 and you're doing higher, okay? So, what we've got here is something called a record. Okay, so you're used to records and databases, so remember records had records and within that it's got fields, okay? Separate bits of information. So what we've got here is, in terms of the programming aspect, we've got an example in which they're really wanting to store information about a certain topic. So in this case, it's about athletes. Now, what you're used to is using arrays to store information about a particular topic. But an array only allows you to store one piece of information in each element. Okay, So you might, with an array, be able just to store all their first names or all their times, etc. What records allow you to do is then within each element you can actually store a structure of data, okay? So, and they can be different data types. So arrays uh, it could only be the same data type that you could store in one value of each in each index. With a record, we can create a record and then you can essentially have an array of these records. So within each element you can have a record. Okay, now what you've got, that's the name of the record, okay, and this is the types of information in the record. So this information, there's six pieces of information that each record has about each competitor, okay, and on the right hand side is just essentially just showing you examples of data. So think of it, you would have another record with another athlete's data and then another record and so on. Okay. So that would all be held within just one element of an array and then other information would be held within another one. So Tony's added a record structure to his program. So sometimes you're actually given this table but then asked to actually write this down. So don't give it as a uh, given that that will be given to you. Okay, So how you write that down is you have to declare it. You have to say well it's going to be a record. You use the actual record name and then you just work your way through saying what the name of the field or the name of the piece of information should I say okay and the type of data it will hold okay so what you've got is four names going to hold string surname will hold string runner number integer professional if it's true or false or yes or no that's going to be boolean Season's best is going to be real, or you could even say single, and the weight. Okay, so these single or real songs that represent a decimal point. So this is your basic structure for athlete data. Okay, and what they've got here is Tony wants to store eight athletes' data using the record structure shown above in a variable called athletes. So just the same way as you declare a variable. It might be declare age as integer or declare athlete name as string. Okay, you can actually declare it as the record. Okay, so that's almost like a data type. So what you've got here is you're declaring an array of records, and it's starting from zero up to seven. So that's eight different records, and we're not just wanting to hold one piece of information. Okay, we want to hold a number of pieces of information within each element and that's when we're using the actual record structure called athlete data. Okay, so that's how you declare that. So that's given to you and that's given to you. Okay? And, and that's the format you'd want it and the two ticks represent where you'd get your marks from. If we then go down, then they're asking, well, the example given above, how would you actually declare that? Okay, so this is relating to this example there. So you would just say declare athletes, okay, because that's the variable they're giving you. And you're essentially initializing it, so that's essentially making the record equal these values. So you would say athlete data, and then you would just write down the data relating to the information held within each record. Okay, so it's something that you just practice, so you get a few examples of these and you work your way through and you could even make your own t t example record and just work your way that uh, you would actually fill in answers. So you can just make up your own questions really. Okay, so that's just saying to clear athletes in this way. So obviously that's given to you, uh, that's given to you, 
and let's face it, the rest of that's given to you. It's just about getting the right structure. Now, what you've also got, okay, so this can be a bit trickier. So you're probably used to doing your standard algorithms, and these al algorithms would be normally just a one-dimensional array. So you'll be looking through an array full of numbers, applying find max or find min. This is a wee bit different, okay? But once you once it clicks in, you can see how it's very similar. Where you'd normally say, I'll imagine it was athlete's time, you'd say, well, grab the first time and just say that's a minimum, because we're trying to find the, the smallest value, okay? And then you'd go through it, and if you found that, if the next time along, on the next index, it's actually smaller than what you had as your minimum, then make minimum now equal to that value, okay? And you'd work your way through and check in each element as you're working along, and if you find that the element you're looking at is actually smaller than your minimum, then that would make it the new minimum. Oh, it's different is you're having to you know, delve into the records, and this is looking for season best, okay? So the best time in the season with athletics is going to be the smaller time, so this is why it's find min. So that is the records. And that's essentially the piece of information. Okay, so that's why when you look at here, it's sorry, that's your array, should I say, right? That's your array, and within the record, we're, we're looking under season best. Okay, so that's why it's within athletes, okay, because that's the one we're using in the previous one, but within that, we're we look into the element at zero and we delve deep into it to that because it's a record that's stored in here. And within that record, we're looking at season best. Okay, so that's the only difference. Okay, so you're probably used to doing examples just looking at the actual array, but this is an array of essentially records. Okay, so that's where this would come in. So again, it's the same process as I just explained. But the only difference is we're, we're mentioning the season best because that is the area within the record that actually stores information that we're wanting to check and find. So hopefully that's helped you a bit.